How can you invest in real estate in 2024 with such high interest rates? You have money waiting to deploy, waiting to invest, but the numbers just don't work out. Not to mention you hate the idea of getting calls on the weekends from tenants or property managers about urgent matters that need refixing right away. You don't have to do that in 2024 in order to invest in real estate. You can still get great passive income from real estate without having to buy rental properties that are costing too much and interest rates that are too high. In the process, you can actually get more of your time back while you're investing in real estate. In this video, we're gonna break down how you can invest in real estate this year, how it can be more passive than owning any rental property, and the three types of investing that are primed to do really well in 2024. And I guarantee you kind of haven't heard of them before, but they're available to anyone. I'm Susan Elliott, and I create real estate investing education that doesn't require you to spend more of your precious time managing tenants or renovations, but still allows you to diversify your portfolio, your investments into real estate, and get that sweet, juicy passive cash flow that real estate is known for. This is the kind of investing, real estate investing, that moves you towards financial freedom and time freedom faster. All right, let's jump in. First, let's talk about how you can invest in real estate in 2024 without having to deal with those high interest rates and without having saved up some sort of massive 25% down payment on your first rental property, even with a full-time job, even with as little as $10,000. This is through passive real estate investing in group investments, also called real estate syndications. That's legal terminology. Just know that these are when groups of regular people like you and me come together to be able to purchase a larger asset together, typically a commercial real estate asset, like an apartment building or a hotel. What's great is that anyone can get started investing in this way. And in 2024, there's actually ways now that makes it open to even more people to be able to deploy their money in real estate in this passive way. But not many people have heard of this, and that's because most people think of just buying a rental property as being able to invest in real estate. Sometimes they even think that a passive form of that is to buy a rental property that a property manager manages. Oh, that's passive. I'm not actually managing it. But really, you have to manage those property managers. You have to find the deals. You have to understand a lot of what's going on. It's not a passive form of investing. And in 2024, it's actually really hard for the numbers to pencil out so that you're actually getting passive cash flow every month. Not to mention the difficulties of managing a rental property. Let me speak from my own experience of like managing all the tenants, managing repairs that tenants cause, finding new deals, penciling those deals out, making offers, sourcing new deals. Oh, okay, so the list goes on. It's not a form of passive investment and it can be really hard, especially this year. So high interest rates, this is how they're impacting real estate, right? The debt is more expensive. So your expense to pay that mortgage is even higher now, and it's making it so that there's less cash flow at the end of the month to be able to put into your own bank account. This is because the Fed has raised interest rates 11 times since March of 2022. This is the, the biggest tightening that the Fed has ever undergone since the 1980s. And I don't know about you, but I was a baby in the 1980s. All I remember are Cabbage Patch Kids and the Walkman that my mom probably wore as she carried me around. Now the Fed has decided or said that they are likely going to decrease those interest rates this year, but that likely won't happen very fast. This means that buying any house, especially a rental house that requires a larger down payment, is really hard. So most people might say, oh, I can't invest in real estate, bye-bye, but you don't know. You don't believe that, right? You know that there's other options out there if you're willing to learn about them. So this is why passive real estate investing is a great opportunity for this year. So even despite those high interest rates, there are great deals to be had that are still cash flowing every month, every quarter after those interest rates are paid off to the, to the lender. The first thing to know about this is that there are teams out there that you join, that you invest alongside with, that are the experts in all of these different markets and all of these different management techniques across real estate, okay? These are the teams that you wanna partner with and your first step to investing in 2024 is to start to learn how this process works. A few tips here is that you're gonna to wanna to find a team that has a solid track record. So ask to see their track record. You're looking for deals that they've already bought 
and they've already sold and they've produced a great return to the investors that joined them in that investment. Meaning that whatever they thought they could get, their projected returns were actually met in realized returns. Look for those deals in their track record. The second thing you wanna look for is a team that wants to and has the time to jump on the call with you. You wanna be able to ask them any questions you have about this process. The third thing is that you wanna find a team that actually wants you to learn how this process works. There's gonna be teams that say, well, if you don't know, then you're wasting my time, but that's not the people who you wanna invest with. You wanna people who genuinely want to help you learn about how this works and the types of things to look out for along the way. A great place to start, and I'll link to in the description below, is our free Passive Real Estate Investing 101 course. Now, we don't sell investor courses. That's not what we do. We just provide educational resources for you. But this is a great way to get started with a seven-day free email course that you can read while you're at work. You don't have to spend your precious weekends, your precious evenings. I know personally, I don't have extra time on my precious evenings and weekends between getting the kids ready, getting them fed, doing the fun activities, and even managing to get a workout in or head to the gym myself. Okay, we've established why 2024 is the year that you're going to want to get started investing passively in group real estate investments and why it's not a great year to buy rental properties. Now let's talk about three different types of real estate investments that are really primed to do well this year. Okay, the first type of real estate investing option for 2024 is actually investing in hotels. Now, I know what you're thinking, probably similar to what I was thinking in that like, who am I to be able to invest in a hotel, right? Like I own my own home and I'm investing over here, but a hotel, but hear me out. Hotels are great passive real estate investing options because they have great cash flow often. Now these are business class hotels. That's the hotel that we like to invest in because they have a steady stream of clients, of people who are renting those rooms. They're in places that are always going to have that business class traveler. For instance, I have some investments in some hotels in Fort Knox, Kentucky, random, never been there. And these are near an army base. So they're constantly getting guests to visit that army base, no matter the time of year. These aren't vacation hotels, in other words. So another thing about hotels that are great is that, again, they have great cash flow because we're able to tweak those income sources on a daily basis, as opposed to kind of like waiting for the month to be up and making repairs in an apartment building. It's a daily rate that we can kind of adjust depending on um, the supply and demand. Okay, the second type of investing is called preferred equity investing. And you're gonna probably start to see more of this because it's just now becoming available to regular people like you and me. Now, preferred equity, is really a type of investing that fits into the capital stack of these deals. And the capital stack really just depends, determines who gets paid first. At the top of that stack is the senior loan. You always got to pay your mortgage, right? Below that is the preferred equity investors. And below that are all the other investors. And then the sponsorship team's way, way, way on the bottom. They don't get paid until everyone else does. But the preferred equity position is a really cool position that has only been open to institutional private equity in the past, and now it's now starting to get open to everyday investors. This means that this money has been made by these big firms in the past, and now people like you and me can make it. I'm gonna link to a video in the corner here that's gonna dive in way deeper into the stable passive monthly income that preferred equity offers so that you can learn more if you're interested in this. But the biggest thing to know here is that it is stable, fixed, passive monthly income from real estate, right? So you're actually, your rate of return is based on a fixed rate that's determined right at the beginning of the contract onset of this deal. And so you're gonna get a portion of that every month. You're gonna know exactly how much income you can get every month. Meanwhile, this other portion of your rate is going to accrue and compound over time so that you get a nice juicy upside payment at the end of that deal. This is a great low risk way to invest in real estate in 2024. Okay, the third type of real estate investment to look out for this year are regulation crowdfunding or crowdfunding real estate offerings. Now I'm not talking about these big blind mutual fundy type of looking ways to invest in a crowdfund for real estate where you don't actually even understand the assets that are in there. 
This is where teams like us are able to offer real estate investing opportunities to everyone. So crowdfunding allows us to invite non-accredited investors to join us. A non-accredited investor, if that's a new term for you, is really just someone who is under that $1 million net worth category or don't meet certain income thresholds to be considered an accredited investor. These are often early stage investors. And regulation crowdfunding allows us to be able to help people invest at smaller minimum amounts. That means $10,000 is the minimum to get started investing in the hotels, in these multifamily properties, right? And you're investing in the same properties, in the same deal, along with the all the other investors. This isn't like you get worse returns kind of deal. It's just a different pathway. It's like taking a different car to the same movie premiere as somebody else. You're getting to the movie premiere. You're enjoying the movie at the same time. You get the same popcorn as everyone else. <laughs> Again, I advise you this year to look into passive real estate investments. It's a fantastic way. Again, it's just made a huge difference in my own life. I'm able to have my money spread across into different asset classes across the states, and I don't have to do any of that work. I just get the, the checks in the mail. It's pretty awesome, and I'm still invested in real estate. Again, look at our free course download below, and remember that 2024 can be your best investing year ever, and the way to start that is to just start to learn more. Whether that's you watch another video, you download that course, or maybe you even invest $10,000 into a hotel to see what it's like. Or maybe you invest that $50,000 that's been in an account waiting to be enough for a down payment one day when really it's just uh, losing value in that account. So make this year the best year you've had yet, and we'll see you next time.